And uh, I'm going a little bit back in, in the time. I'm uh, to the uh, outdating of medieval fortifications in Finland, namely to the castle of Rasibori and the town wall of Vibori. Uh, here you can see the Baltic Sea area, the late Middle Ages, and uh, our case studies, two case studies, the castle of Rasibori here, and then the town wall of Vibori. Uh, in the Middle Ages, uh, Finland uh, made the eastern part of the Swedish realm, and uh, were several crown castles in, in Finland. On those days, they were part of the network of the crown circles covering the Swedish realm. Beginning from the 15th century, the use of firearms meant challenges uh, to the medieval castles in this northern periphery of Western Europe. Uh, during the Middle Ages, there were some large defensive structures in Finland. Uh, there were the central castles of the crown, centers of castle provinces, the first genera generation uh, dating from the late 13th century, the castle of Turku, Hame, and Viboy, the second generation uh, from the late 14th century, the castles of Kastelholm, Korsholm, Rasibori, and the third generation from the late 15th century. Uh, the castle of Ulusbori in Savox, and then there was the town wall of Vibori from the late 15th century. And here you can see those castle provinces. Here we have the castle of Rasibori, and there the castle and the town wall of Vibori. Uh, that was the Middle Ages, but in the early modern era, King Gustav Vasa uh, began to modernize with his castles in the 1540s and 1550s. Uh, behind uh, this was the king's fear for uprisings, the rising power of Moscow, Russia, and fear for danger. Uh, one typical uh, structure for these new, uh, new fortifications were the round artillery towers. Some round towers date already to the late 15th century, but during the reign of Gustav Vasa, they became typical for fortifications. And then there were bastions, uh, like those in the uh, those in the new town of Vibori uh, from the 1560s, and uh, that in the castle of Uppsala from already from 1540s. And then he began to uh, build new castles in, in Sweden, Jönköping, we heard today, Uppsala, Vastena, and then there were plans for new castles in Finland too. Uh, one in, in Helsinki called Helsingborg, but they never realized. Here you can see those artillery towers. Uh, this is from the Bay of Turku Castle, from the Bay of Hanna Castle. Uh, on the town wall of Vibori from the 1547 to 1550, and then one in Stockholm, and there was one in uh, Ulosbori also, but it was destroyed in the late 18th century. Uh, but going back to the Middle Ages, Rasibori was a castle found in, uh, founded in the 1370s uh, on the southern coast of Finland. Uh, it was enlarged during the 15th century and early 16th century. Uh, in the, uh, originally built on the small island in the shallow bay of uh, southern uh, of, uh, of the of Finland. Uh, during the uh, Swedish independence war in the early 1520s, Rasborg had a kind of central road in December in uh, 1520. Uh, the Swedes surrendered. Uh, according to a peace agreement in uh, Stockholm, and, and the Danish castellan took over the castle. Uh, a year later, from December 1521 to June uh, 1522, the Swiss rebellions besieged the castle, uh, but it was uh, uh, only in, uh, a year later, in August, September, when they conquered it. After the war, the castle was in bad condition, and King uh, already ordered to abandon it. But he made his, up his mind 
and uh, later on the small scale reconstruction works were made. In, but in 1545, all the guns uh, were transported from the castle, and from now on, the, it was, all, uh, it was uh, almost totally disarmed. In 1550, the king founded the town of uh, Helsinki and ordered a castle called Helsingborg to be built there. Helsinki was uh, to take over the role of Rasenborg as the administrative and uh, defensive center of the southern government coast of Finland, and in uh, 1553 the old castle was almost uh, abandoned. However, Helsinki was, uh, uh, sadly to say, a disappointment to the king. Uh, the construction works of the new castle ceased uh, some years later, and only a royal manor was finished there. In Jan it meant, uh, meant a kind of renaissance of the old castle Rasebori. In January 1956, at the latest, the old castle was occupied again. Uh, during the following two years, it was used as an administrative center, but hardly as a defension, even if there was a war going on uh, against Moscow Russia, Russia uh, during those years. In March or April 1558, an accident took place in, in the old castle. The vaults of the beer cellar collapsed. And most probably, some of the interior of the southern range too, but it was only the loss of the large amount of beer that was counted when the bailiff made his account about the accident. Uh, quite logically, some weeks later, the king ordered uh, his son, your John, to build a new royal manor in Ekenas and Ed abandoned old castle forever. Uh, and here you can see some collapsed walls in the castle. Ah, we had several reasons behind the abandoning of the castle. It was in a bad condition, and as we just saw, uh, it's so such a bad condition that the walls, walls collapsed. But it was also originally built on an island, and because of the ant uplift, the castle had lost the safety offered by the surrounding water and it was, it was becoming a dryland castle hard to defend. The castle was outdated as a defensive work, vulnerable if shooted by heavy artillery from the high hills close to the castle. And a century later, it was only a room uh, covered by woods. Uh, one Interesting detail in the castle is that there are traces of fire damages. Uh, it seems that a severe fire has taken place in Rasebori soon after the castle was abandoned. But in the various accounts, there are nothing about the fire, fire damages. And it's very, it's very possible that the castle was purposefully burned after the abandonment. Namely, in the 1560s and 70s, Sweden was in wars against Russia, against Poland, against Denmark, against almost everybody. And even if Rasebori was deserted, it could have made the perfect base for hostile troops landed on the coast of Finland. Here you can see fire layer and damaged wall uh, of the uh, castle kitchen. Uh, the Crown's castles in uh, Finland after the 1550s, several of those were modernized, such as Turku Castle, Hame uh, Castle, Vibor Castle, and Castle of Ulosbori. Some others became administrative centers with a very marginal military importance, and one was abandoned totally, namely Rasibori. Then, uh, going towards the east, uh, Vibori was, the Council of Vibori was the most important uh, defensive structure on the eastern border of Swedish realm. It was founded in uh, 1293, and um, a settlement close to the castle uh, uh, was to, uh, uh, there was a settlement close to the castle, at first a borough, but it became a town when getting privileges in 1403. And a town wall was built around the, uh, on, on the, on the town. 
Here you can see the castle in, in 1703 and today. And here you can also see some of the medieval parts almost collapsing in the beginning of the uh, 18th century. In Sweden there were three or actually four towns uh, surrounded by walls during the middle, middle of Stockholm, the capital, Kalmar, close to the southern border, Viborg, close to the eastern border, and then Visby on the island of East uh, Gotland, uh, some, sometimes counted as a part of Denmark and sometimes as part of uh, Sweden. Only the wall in Visby has survived. Uh, the town wall of Viborg was uh, part of the Swedish defenses along the Russian border. Established in the 70s, 1470s by the townspeople and the Castellan Eric of Stockholm, uh, who also founded the castle of Olofsborg in uh, 1475. Uh, in the early Middle Ages, it was time to modern, modernize the old town wall. Uh, the town wall was restored during Gustav Vasa's reign. Uh, in the 1540s and 50s, and following uh, his son's King Erich order, a new wall was with bastions was built around the eastern suburbs in uh, uh, 50, beginning from the 1560s. Here's a castle, the old town surrounded by the wall, and the new town surrounded by the new kind of wall. From the old town wall, there is practically uh, very little left. And not much is known, has been known about it. It has been a two kilometer long uh, wall, about five meters high. There were 11 towers and gates, only one is left. This one, and actually, on the, on the lower part is from the Middle, middle Ages. Uh, in 1999, 2003, Alexander Saxa has excavated some parts of the foundations of wall. Three meters high. 10 meters long part close to the Tower of Ratitorni, and he found a fairly weak wall with relatively high light foundations. And then go to the destruction of the old town walls. During the uh, 17th century, the town walls were hardly maintained and they began to collapse. In 1700, a new war, the Great Northern War between Sweden and Russia, began. In 1703, fortification of the officer called Lorenz Tobias was ordered to modernize the defenses of evil. He began his work by a detailed documentation of the castle and the town wall, uh, and this is a unique source for research today, namely that wall is almost totally uh, disappeared uh, and not, not much information is left. Here you can see the uh, town plan and, the, and then parts of the old town wall, uh, some very uh, uh, detailed uh, uh, pictures, like this one from the Hawkins Tower, where you can see parts made of brick, parts are made of made of stone, some parts in a very bad shape, uh, and a round tower in a very bad shape too. Uh, some other towers, and actually also. Uh, the profiles of the walls, the northern walls, uh, the Tower of Lakamon in very in a quite bad shape. Large parts of the town were pulled down between uh, 1703 and 1710 when fortifications around them were, uh, were modernized. The reconstruction was fulfilled by the bomb Russian bombardment in 1706 and 1710, as you can see here. The town, the castle, the Russian uh, guns, and after the war, n uh, not much was left. The rest was dismantled by the Russians, and in 1780 only the Ratitorni was left, and it was used as Belfry. In the, of the early modern era, the uh, early 16th century, the firearms made a severe threat for all old defenses. New guns were heavier, more effective than earlier ones. Simultaneously, the range of the firearms had become much stronger, or medieval fortifications did not offer a safe heaven anymore. The castle of Darcyborg has played its role as a fortification. In the middle of the 16th century, the old uh, town wall uh, shared a destiny uh, some 150 years later. 
facing heavy artillery, they were hopelessly out there. Oh